Hey guys, I wanted to make a video here checking out the multi-ROM mod. Now, what this is going to allow you to do is have multiple Android ROMs installed on your device at once, and then you can choose which one you want to boot into. So you could have stock Android, Cyanogen Mod, Beanstalk, Cataclysm, all installed at once, and then when you restart, you can choose which one you want to use. So that's pretty awesome, especially if you're someone that loves loads of different custom ROMs and you want to use them all, this is going to allow you to do that. In terms of device support, I believe this works on the Nexus 4, the Nexus 5 and both the Nexus 7s. I think that's it for now, although I'm not completely sure. I'll be doing this on my Nexus 5, which is on the stock ROM, although I do have exposed installed, which really doesn't matter, don't worry about that. You can see here it's the stock Android 4.4.2 ROM and also the stock kernel. So I'll be doing this on camera right now so you can see exactly what you're going to need to do and how it works. As always, everything you'll need is in the description. So yeah, here we go. So the first thing you'll need to do is have a rooted device. Make sure your device is rooted or this just won't work. Secondly, make a backup. Even the developer of the mod says you need a backup because things can go wrong. You don't want to be caught with your pants down without a backup. That's just a place no one wants to be. So. Yeah, I've done my backup already, but please, please, please make a backup. All right, so now we can actually start installing this. And what you'll need to do is download the app called Multi-ROM Manager. It's available for free in the Play Store. Again, the links are in the description. This app requires root to run. So once you actually open it, you can see root is granted. And this tells you what you need to know. So right now we don't have Multi-ROM installed or the recovery installed, but the most important thing you need to look at is the kernel. Now, like I said before, I'm on the stock kernel and you can see it doesn't have the KSEC hard boot patch. This is something you'll need the kernel needs this to actually allow this to run. So some kernels, some custom kernels like Franco or Elemental will have this patch already installed. So you don't need to worry about this next step. But if you're like me and you're on the stock kernel, you will need to tick this kernel box here and then choose the right kernel. So we're on Android 4.4.2, we'll click that. And we have all the other stuff ticked like multi-ROM and the recovery. It does install its own custom TWRP recovery that you do need to install different ROMs with. And right now you can see it's unfortunately Ubuntu Touch does not support this device. When it does, there may be another option here that you can install that as well. So that's pretty cool. So we're just gonna hit install. And it started doing its thing here. It's downloading everything it needs to work. So yeah, we'll just wait for this. Okay, so there's two things that say need recovery here. So we'll reboot and let it do its thing. I'll fast forward all this because this is kind of boring. All right, so that's it, it's rebooting. So you can see here it's gonna auto boot. We're gonna leave it at that because we don't have any ROMs right now. So that's the little boot menu that is gonna be displayed every time your device reboots. And that's the menu you can choose your different ROMs from. Obviously we don't have any other ROMs installed right now. So it's just booting into the ROM I had before, which was the stock ROM. So let's let it do this. Okay, so we're booted back up. And if we dive back into the app here, you should see that it's all installed and it's all working correctly. Yep, you can see multi-ROM V19, the right recovery, and the kernel now has the KSEC hard boot patch because we ticked kernel. Now, if you're on a custom kernel like Elementor or Franco, you won't need to do that patch. So that's it, it's installed. Now, what you need to do now is download your favorite ROMs. So I already have one on there, it's called Beanstalk. So we're gonna uh, reboot into the recovery. Uh, where are we, recovery, yes. So if you're familiar with the Team Win custom recovery, not much has changed. The only difference is if you dive into advanced, you'll notice you now have a new section called multi-ROM. And this is where you need to go to install ROMs or to mess around with the multi-ROM settings. So we'll tap into this. You've got add ROM, list ROMs, settings, and swap ROMs. You've got some more advanced settings in the middle here. And I'll, I'll include a link in the description which shows you how to use these and when to use them. But right now we're gonna jump into add ROM. And we've got choose ROM type as Android, share kernel with internal ROM. We're gonna leave that as don't share because we don't we want the, the different ROMs to have their own kernels. And you can choose where it installs to. So we're gonna choose internal memory, but if you do have a USB stick and on the go cable, you can actually choose to install it and boot it from the USB drive. So if we plug this in, we'll just give it a second and we'll hit refresh a few times. You can see there that it does turn up and you can actually boot ROMs from a USB stick. So that's pretty cool. But right now we'll just leave it as the internal memory. We'll hit next. And select ROM source. So what we want to do is zip file. But you can actually choose to install a ROM from an Android backup or from ADB sideloads. So that's pretty cool. But right now we'll choose zip file. And we're going to choose Beanstalk. And swipe to confirm.
Okay, so that's installed, but you do need to install G apps for each separate ROM you install, otherwise they won't have them. So we're gonna hit back a few times here. We're gonna go into list ROMs, we'll choose Beanstalk. Now you can choose to flash a zip, and this is gonna flash it just for this ROM. So we'll go into there, and we will flash the PAG apps, because that's what I wanna use. Swipe to do that. And that's done, so GApps is installed. We'll just hit back here, you can see you can do a load of other things. You can wipe the data, wipe the uh, Delvit cache or the other cache just for this specific ROM. And if we go out a few times, we're ready to go. So what we're gonna do here is reboot. We'll reboot the system. And now we're gonna get that boot menu. I'm gonna quickly press the button before it skips, otherwise it will just boot into my primary ROM, which is the stock ROM. So we have four seconds to do that. So you've got your internal ROM and then you've got Beanstalk. So you could have a list here of Cyanogen Mod, Cataclysm, all those other ones. And you can choose USB stick here if you have that in have it booted from a USB stick. You've also got MISC as well, reboot into recovery, copy log to SD card. But we want to boot Beanstalk. So we'll hit Beanstalk, hit boot. And boom, we should now be booting Beanstalk. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we booted up. That initial boot did take around three to four minutes. I guess that's just the ROM. It may be different uh, depending on the ROM you do. We're gonna skip this for now, just so we can actually boot up into the ROM and see what it says. No, 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 no. Finish, here we go. So you can choose the launcher. We'll choose the Google Edition launcher for now. And here we go, we're on Beanstalk. As simple as that, if we dive into the settings, jump into about phone you can see that we are on the beanstalk rom it is on the beanstalk kernel as well so you could do everything you normally do on a rom here set it all up exactly how you wanted to and let's say we reboot the phone now into i don't know we'll just reboot we're going to get that little boot menu here it takes four seconds to disappear or it auto boots and we'll use the internal ROM. You can actually change these around if you want Beanstalk to boot first. It's in the uh, multi-ROM settings. We'll choose the internal ROM to boot now. So it's booted back up there and if we dive into the settings, you'll notice that everything is the same as when we left it. If we go into Bout Foam, we're on the stock ROM and the kernel that it installed for us, that KSEC hardware boot kernel. So yeah, there it goes. It works really well. You can install multiple ROMs depending on how much storage you have. In terms of removing this completely, if you don't want that initial boot menu when you reboot your device every time, there is a zip you can flash that removes everything as if it wasn't even there. Again, that is in the description. So yeah, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Peace out.